Everyone, welcome back to TV5 News at 9. So joining us this morning, please help me welcome owner Mark Recker from Mauer Meat Processors. So thanks for being here, Mark. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Doing great. Ready to learn more about your company. <laughs> Can you tell us a, a little bit about what the company is, what you do, where you're located? Sure. So we're a uh, custom meat processing facility in Ubley, Michigan. We've been family owned and operated since my grandma and grandpa started it in 1965. Uh, my uncle Jim then took it over. Um, and then 2017, my mom and family, we then um, purchased the business and been running it since. We do, we specialize in primarily uh, processing beef and hogs. Mm. Um, and then in the fall, we will also do deer. And then we also have a small retail counter up front for, you know, things like steaks, brats, jerky, et cetera. Um, so pretty standard meat market stuff. Meat lover's dream? Yes, exactly. <laughs> And so if someone, uh, you know, comes in, they want to order maybe half beef, can you help them with stuff like that? Yeah, so I think one of the biggest issues or um, holdups that people have when it comes to doing something like this is they just don't know how to get started. Yeah. Um, they don't necessarily know, uh, they don't know a farmer. So you can actually order directly through us. So if you want to be set up to try and get a share of either a hog or a beef, just call us up. We can set you up with a farmer. Um, we'll take care of the scheduling, the processing. Um, you know, anything that you need in order to get some meat in your freezer. So um, typically orders are done for the beef as far as a whole, a half or um, a quarter, which a lot of times we refer to as a half of a half, so mm -hmm. you can get both parts of the, um, of the meat. And then hogs come in halves and holes. Very good, good to know. Uh, are there any benefits to maybe ordering meat this way? Is it cheaper, is it healthier? What do you know? Yeah, so um, when it comes to that, it's always gonna come down to quality. Yeah. So when people ask, or is it cheaper, is it more expensive? It's really hard to say because you're really comparing apples to oranges. Mm. Custom processed meat is a lot different than buying um, processed meat in, the, in like a big box store. Yeah. So, um, you know, a couple things, we age our beef that uh, causes the, or allows time for the enzymes to break down protein and tissues to make it more tender. Um, it also leaves it more of a intense beef flavor. Um, we also, you're going to know the source of where your meat was from. I think there was a study done that someone has shown like a, a factory processed burger patty may have meat from a hundred different cows. Well, thus you're only going to get the one. Um, that, you know, the meat you purchased, we know where it's from, how it's fed. Um, it's aging process, everything, and um, you know, you'll just get it from the one. That is so cool, yeah. And so, would you say, like, someone gets that half beef, like what, you said there's that whole or the half of the half, like what does that usually typically feed? Is that good for a family, like a half, or do you get the full? Yeah, great question, because it, it's gonna depend. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, obviously how much meat you consume on a daily basis, but in, in general, for a general rule of thumb is, when you get a family of four, a half a beef and a whole hog will last the whole year. Mm. Smaller families, a quarter beef, half a hog is directionally, um, you know, what lasts about a full year. And again, if you've never had it before, I recommend just starting with a half and a quarter, just, you know, get your feet wet yeah. in it and then, you know, um, decide what you want to do from there. Very good. How does the purchasing process work? Yeah, so when people want to order meat from us, they can contact us and get on our list. Once they get on our list, you tell us when you're, you know, when you want um, or hoping to get the meat ready by. Yeah. Um, we then will start to get that scheduling process, um, set you up with a farmer if you don't know one. Um, and then from there, we will, once the meat comes in ready to be harvested, we'll contact you for cutting instructions because you get to pick how you want your meat okay. uh, cut. And I always recommend if you've never done it before, we have the ability to do it online, just call us. We'll be able to walk you through it. Um, and then from there, once the meat comes in, will they'll be harvested it'll start that aging process that usually starts it lasts about 10 to 14 days and then once that um, is complete we'll cut it up package it and we'll contact you for pickup how do we contact you so you can reach us you could text call um, you can visit our website mauermeat.com we also answer stuff on facebook um, and um, any of those ways work just fine. We'll, we're, we try to be as, we get as many forms of communication as possible, <laughs> um, you know, for you to get your order. I was gonna say I love a company that does text to order. Yeah, text is the <laughs> biggest thing that we uh, get people as far as deciding they wanna order and letting them know that their order is done. Okay, 
Very cool. Is there a typical turnaround time? Because I know you said, you know, it was kind of up to the consumer to pick the cuts and everything. Yeah, so once an order is placed, right now our turn time is around two weeks, okay. uh, two to three weeks. Um, uh, that varies depending on the season. Obviously in the fall can be a little bit more difficult with deer season, mm -hmm. but it, we, we're no longer um, that turnaround time in the 2020, 2021, mm. where you heard stories about 18 months. Um, that that we've cut that uh, turnaround time considerably. Um, quite honestly, it's, we just have. I know it's very popular to say it's hard to find good help. We have such a great crew right now, and they've worked so hard at getting our uh, turnaround time that uh, um, you know. They work so hard at getting our uh, turnaround time down that um, you know it's not going to take you 18 months to get meat from your into your yeah. freezer anymore. I was going to say 18 months, just forget it at that point. Yeah, people <laughs> were scheduling beef before they were even born to be yeah. processed, so <laughs> we don't have to worry about that as much anymore. Well, thank the Lord. All right, Mark, anything else you want to add? Uh, I think that pretty much covers it. Yeah, I mean, you got kind of me excited. I want to kind of check out the processors. <laughs> yeah, you should get on the list. All right, sounds good. All right. Uh, appreciate you. Thank you. Yep. You can always find more information uh, through the hot links section on WNEM.com.